Hey guys, alright, so let's go ahead and talk about another type of discontinuity. This one's called a jump discontinuity. So, um, f of x has a jump discontinuity at x equals c if and only if. Uh, first of all, the left hand limit as uh, x approaches c of f of x exists. Uh, the right hand limit at c also exists, and they are not equal. Okay, so if both of the one sided limits exist, but they're not equal to each other, then you have a jump discontinuity. So notice that um, it doesn't matter if the function is defined at C or not. So remember for uh, removable discontinuity, one of the conditions was that the function had to be defined at C. In other words, F of C had to exist. But for jump discontinuities, um, it doesn't actually matter. Uh, all you need is both one side of limits existing and them not being equal to each other. So let's see an example of that. Uh, so here, example one, uh, here's our function, y equals f of x. So let's take a look at the one-sided limits here. So limit uh, as x approaches 6 from the left of f of x equals what? Well, if we come into 6 from the left, it looks like y is going to go to 3, right? So this limit is 3. But if we come into 6 from the right, what's happening? So this right-hand limit is going to be, uh, let's see, if we come into 6 from the right, from the right, from the right, it looks like the y values are also going to 6. Right. So x comes into 6 from the right, uh, the y values approach up here, which is 6. So the left-hand limit is 3, the right-hand limit is 6, so this function is not, or excuse me, uh, this function has a jump discontinuity at uh, x equals 6. Um, what if we changed it, so notice there's a filled in circle up here, what if we changed it so that this was a hollow circle? So now the function isn't defined at 6. Uh, nothing changes, right? This left limit's still the same, the right limit's still the same, nothing changes. What if we made it so this was filled in? Uh, still, nothing changes. Left limit's the same, right limit's the same, so uh, they're not equal to each other, so there's still a jump discontinuity. Okay? So, uh, from there we can see that it doesn't matter if the function is defined or not at the point. Um, all that matters is what's going on with the one-sided limits. So let's take a look at another example that doesn't have a graph here. Uh, example 2. Uh, g of x is 2x squared minus 6 if x is less than 3, and it's 7x plus 1 if x is greater than 3. So let's see what's happening at the breaking point uh, x equals 3 here. Notice that um, this function is not defined at x equals 3, right? It's defined if x is less than 3 and if x is greater than 3, but if x equals 3, uh, this function is not defined. But again, it doesn't matter uh, for jump discontinuities. So let's take a look at the left-hand limit. Limit as x approaches 3 from the left of g of x equals what? Well, um, if we approach 3 from the left, then uh, x is always less than 3, so that means we're on the first piece. So what we're looking at then is limit as x approaches 3 from the left of 2x squared minus 6, right? Because we're only on that piece there. So let's go ahead and zoom in on this a bit. <clears throat> okay. So we can just do direct substitution. Uh, if we substitute 3 in for x, then we have 3 squared is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, 18 minus 6 is 12. Okay, so that's, uh, that left-hand limit is 12. Now what about the right-hand limit? So with the right-hand limit, we have limit as x approaches 3 from the right of g of x. Now if x is approaching from the right, then uh, x is always greater than 3. So we're just going to be on the second piece. Uh, so we have limit as x approaches 3 from the right of 7x plus 1. All right, so now we just do direct substitution. Uh, substitute 3 for x. Uh, 7 times 3 is 21. 21 plus 1 is 22. So that's 22. So the left-hand limit is 12. The right-hand limit is 22. So this function has a jump discontinuity uh, at x equals 3. All right. So that's two examples of jump discontinuities, and again, it doesn't matter if the function is defined at the point or not, all that matters is that uh, both one-sided limits exist, and they're not equal to each other.